hey doomers, it's four in the morning. This is the best I can do rather than be on camera. So I'm just going to talk to you for a little bit. I have many thoughts that run through my mind, perhaps delusions, but I try to remain objective and you guys know that, which makes me come off as rather stoic and is like a brick, you know, but I reassure you that I'm very much human and have animalistic drives towards um, undoubtedly sexual desires and rage and, you know, appealing to the base lizard brain of myself. Uh, and that is a thing. And I recognize that. And I, and I push that to the side for the sake of this content, as you guys have been observing over the years. My ex was quick to point that out, that I was about showing data and information because that's sanity to me. That's where I find a source of sanity. Because if you live in the world of, or live in this in the state of base emotions too much, then you're zany and you can just overpower everything else. It is insanity to me. You know, and that is the time period that we live in is your beliefs supersede data. If you put enough emotional charge behind it and anger and delusion, fabricated or not, then you can override basically anything anyone else says. And to go a little bit further, if you're not using, uh, let's say, the um, base animalistic emotions and the logic side of your brain, and you're not either creating, inspiring, or helping other people, then you will feel like worthless trash. And I pity you. I do not want to be you. Or you can go to the fast food joint and watch sports ball. All right, I never got it. I never got it. What is appealing about young 21-year-old boys running around in a field moist who don't give a damn about you, this, anything, art, culture, being human, okay? It's just another one of those dumb things that we do. All right, so this has been a turbulent time. And what this has shown me is who has been paying attention and who's been part of this community and watching and helping. I'm speechless. The amount of support I've received over the past few weeks that there's other sane people out there in the world. Okay, that's all I can say is sane. And I'm getting out of this Looney Tunes joint that I'm in. <laughs> One of the strangest speed bumps I've ever been over. Uncharted territory. But I have a nice, normal fucking apartment booked for next month that I'll be in for a few months. It's just a basic, with my own apartment, basic ass, with a bat, my own bathroom, a full kitchen, just normal apartment, which is what my, what I need, what my whole generation wants is stability. It's all we ever wanted was a, de we want a decent job, just stability, okay? One of the main way, like one of the big helpers is having a community because you're out here on your own and you're living, you're swimming in chaos. So I wanted to break that news to you that remedying my situation and you guys have come through and I'm speechless and um, I know we're all strewn about apart across the world. So, and that's not me just saying that everyone feels that way, unless you're some part of some uh, fraternity or veterans club or religious organization, you're just thrown apart the world having to fight for your own and deciding not to be a breeder. And I fully understand why some of my subscribers, it's just overwhelmingly insanity right now that, that we continue this rampant inequality, that the, the insanity, we just, 
we, we keep it moving, you know, go to the fast food joint, watch sports ball, have babies, uh, complain that your kids can want another toy, you know, all of it. It's just like, what? So again, I know it makes me come across as a hard ass, but, but being ahead of your time is, uh, is really inconvenient, you know, and then the looks on all these people's faces, um, again, it's, it's dystopian and, and, uh, twilight zone ish when I see, uh, men and women and who just overlook each other. Like we don't even exist. This is this, this is the best we can do really. All right. So I don't, I, I don't want to woe and pity anymore, but, but the point I'm making is, is your mental health and sanity is paramount. Is, is, is top, should be top priority in protecting your, your inner spirit, you know, your compilation of what it is to be human, protecting that. And if you can go on to create something, that's even next level. I think that's top level of being human. As if there's been enough data. To have, I mean, look, <laughs> Mexico is like 116 degrees in October. Climactic hit records are being rewritten in front of our eyes in plain day, uh, and, and the coral reef b- bleaching, and, and all the planetary boundaries were exceeding. I mean, we're just... We were just trashing the planet. And and, and ocean f- food supply, and, and, you know, for the planet, everything is just, like, accelerating warming, and that's what I want to cover next, or what I have it, when I get stable. I, it's already been covered, but I want to read James Hansen's paper... Him and his colleagues, it's titled, like, is Earth going to continue to fizzle after El Nino? And he, he clearly points out with data, rather than charged emotions, which is rooted in delusions, that the solar irradiance on top of energy imbalance of the planet is accelerating. It illustrates that the projected warming is increasing at at least a rate of 50% delta function it's going up and to see that is like witnessing i don't know some people would say like the divine but to me it's like whoa that is as real as it gets i feel my place even if that is a delusion to point that out to me being human is that's the supreme level of being is (laughs) is being truthful right Rather than being zany and, and just insane, just the competition and, and animalistic drive that, that we have is, is it's reached critical mass. So my emphasis was thank you. We're all spread apart. And just when I think all is lost, you, you men, women and men come through and let me know that there's still sanity out there. And we're witnessing, uh, we're witnessing all of this in real time while, while the masses choose to remain blindly ignorant, deliberately ignorant and in delusion is, uh, it's surreal. It's twilight zone ish and it, it warrants this channel and yeah, thanks for being there. But I'll be thinking about this and you. I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Citigroup saying in a statement, while we respect the right to protest, activists do not have the right to prevent people from entering our building or customers from entering our branch. All this just ahead of Climate Week and the U.N. General Assembly. Expect to see more in the coming days. The NYPD already preparing for the march to end fossil fuels this weekend. We anticipate a a safe uh, march this Sunday with our climate protesters, and uh, we're, we're partners with them on that. Police say their focus on keeping climate change protests peaceful. Still, 29 arrests in just the last two days, most of them here today. Most of those protesters to be charged with disorderly conduct and released.